Well, hello and welcome back to part two of our first day. How does it play? New map. So, new map first day is what it's called. This is part two out of three. And we're going to be exploring the east side of the map just because that's straight down from where we were. Just came past fields 15. And now field 15 is one that we need to go and look at because this field is owned by us. So what do we have in there? Oh, we're on the wrong side of the road, sorry. It's on the other side of the road. So let's just go back a little bit further down. There may be an entrance down at the bottom. Field 15. So we're coming down from the forest area where we ended off in part one. Of course, this is the wonderful map Mills Town by Muddy Diggs. And we continue to have a look. Now, it's another field that needs to be harvested. So there is a huge amount of harvesting that needs to be done on the first day. And this is wheat. So there's plenty to do, which reminds me, let's go and have a look and see that we didn't really have a look at the harvester yet. It is full, of course, and what we'll do is we'll get the stire out, we'll put the trailer onto it, and we'll go and get that emptied, and then we can continue on field 6 and field 15 with harvesting while we're looking around the map. Because this map is so jam-packed with new things and just things to explore and find. I'm sure you will remember in the episode one is that I've slowed down the time from five times speed to two times speed and separated the well we'll be doing three different three parts to it. In this next part I hope to get around most of the rest of the productions and well maybe not all of them but certainly the productions to the east to where we are heading now um, that may take quite a while. There's a couple of new things that are going on there and then in the last one I want to look at things like the double train system on this map and how that works and loading train from the farm so the last episode is going to be a little well it's probably going to be all just about all about it about the train and the productions around the town area so we'll just get this emptied out and then I will just have to restart the the harvester, I think. Yeah, so you're not going to be short of jobs to do on the first day on this map. I don't think this is a five time uh, play, uh, a map to be played at five times speed. I think this is a map to be played quite slowly and save it, certainly to start with. There we go. And I think we will then continue our little trip down. So we've we've completed looking at field 15. Also nice and easy to have workers on. So yeah, you can certainly get a lot of help. Maybe worthwhile on your first day to consider hiring a couple of harvesters just to get things through. Right, so let's go and have a look, and we should be heading into another production area here. Now this is, let's just get the interactive markers on so we can see and show you where everything is. So there's a sugar mill, and... 
Where do you activate that? Quick look around the back, there we go. So that can be bought for, I think it's probably going to be pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard price for that. Have a what is this? Let's jump around and walk around and we can have a look around. This is the natural oils, which I don't think we own. We're pretty confident we wouldn't own it. Or that we've been surprised. Production point, yeah, also pretty standard. Oh, we've purchased it by mistake again, pressing the wrong buttons. In any case, we do own that now, not a serious problem. Then the next thing is the is this a cereal factory? Cereal factory, yeah. So be, let's not accidentally buy that now. We wouldn't, of course, wouldn't have been able to buy that nice bit of open land there that we can work on. And then this is bale and parrot storage. Storage is empty, so looks like we own that. And the grain mill. Now the grain mill I think we own. I think that's the one that we found out that we owned. Where is the... Oh, there it is there. So we do already own the grain mill. We have, which is nice again, some wheat and some flour in there. And this, the production from this, this factory, and I think from all the other factories as well, spawns inside this shed here. Right, so... Let's have a look and see. Yep, yeah, there we go. So this is the flour that comes from our grain mill. So we've already got one, two, three, four pallets, and the pallets of flour in this on this map have been increased to two thousand liters. So from one thousand to two thousand liters each pallet. So that's pretty good. And there we have some honey. So we must have some honey, some hives around somewhere. Is this owned by us? It is owned by us. So we must have some hives around somewhere. We'll see if we can see them on our way around. And I do believe this is our, yeah, this is our, Manitou forklift. And of course we can. We can move that around and move it the pellets around. Move them to other productions, bakeries, etc. Haven't seen the bakery yet. Nice big storage area here, which I presume we can use. So that's all pretty neat. So the oils will deliver there. The 
materials, I would presume, to deliver here. This is the flower. So did we we inadvertently buy the flower mill? Let's uh, or the cereals? I think we did. Into vehicle. So let's just deliver a pellet to the cereal factory. So that's quite nice that the the um, capacity of these pellets has been increased. Um, where was the cereal factory now? Was it was it here? I think. Wells. Was it this one? Cereals, yeah. The tank is nearly full on the grain. We'll have to keep working on that. Right, so I'm going to say that flowering is not deliverable to the cereal factory. I can't recall. the inputs that it does have. I think it might be oats. Some I think that honey was one of them as well. So let's see if we can deliver some honey there just to see how that works. Right, let's pick up the honey now and take that through. <laughs> I think it takes honey. Not a hundred percent sure, but I think so. We're going to find out now quickly. Just want to do a little delivery from this fantastic warehouse. I like the idea of everything getting delivered into the warehouse. Just adds a slight, slightly different dimension to everything. Yeah, there we go. That gets done. That good stuff. Right, we'll just park this up and then I think that's pretty much this area covered. It's great that we have as uh, from the start in new farmer mode that we have the grain mill and that just gives us a little bit of well it gives us quite a lot of starting materials and goods and ways to make a bit of money. Right, I did notice just next door is an empty piece of land. We'll go and look to buy that. And there's a nice little click on that as well. So this would be a nice area for some added productions. Quite close to the other production, so perhaps a bakery or something along those lines. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the land, but first of all, let me just show you the advertising boards. So we've got a lot for sale there. Zoning for agricultural, industrial, commercial, Millstown, Mill, Millstown Reality, the agents. And there's another one down this end. We 
good. Uh huh. We will go and buy that piece of land. So we are we are down here. So that's this piece of land down here. Forty three. And that's going to cost forty five thousand. So it's not awfully expensive, but it is just a bit of land. And X will buy that. So we have this piece of land, but we still have the signposts up. So to clear those, we need to go and buy a chainsaw. And when you buy these lands, there will be a single tree somewhere. But if you cut down the trees, just do this so that you can see the signpost at the same time. Right, so if you just keep your eye on the sign through the leaves there. Can we get, get it more in shot? There we go. On the top left hand side there. Let's take that off. There we go. And cut the tree down. Signs disappear. Fantastic. I'll collect that. Well, we won't collect it yet, but if you get a bit of wood out of the whole thing. So there we go, we've got our little area here. Let's see we 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 should go to next. There's an, another little farm area sort of going down towards the south there, so we'll go and have a look at that. I think if we get back to the let's go let's go this way. And hopefully there's a track running across the front or running down between these fields so it should be yeah there is fantastic so we'll go and have a look at that little area it's another farm I think fabulous I really like this map, I like the little undulations and turns and such like. So do we do have a train point here as well, so we have another storage facility right here. And we have a corn dryer here, but to activate this corn dryer, you need to buy this farm. So you've got some nice big buildings here. So you need to buy that farmyard and that will activate the corn dryer. And in the front part here, we've got the train station. And if we look on the map, um, let's go and have a look on the map and we can tell you what So that's the South Train Silo. So it's the equivalent of where was it? Was it
was here, wasn't it? Here we go. North train silo. Right, so that's the south train silo. And this is the second, it's on a different train line to the north train silo. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Well, the train should be coming through. Let's have a quick look at that. There we go. Pretty standard train. Diesel locomotive. Let's have a quick look around this farm. So you would need to purchase the farm to get any of the of the um, oh what are they called? They are called the interactive zone markers to come up. We've got some nice sheds. Pretty much the same as we have on our on our farm. Another red barn shed. Here it feels a bit bigger than the farmyard feels a bit bigger than ours. Get to guess we can't open these doors. Uh, And should be able to drive through here. That no, we can't. It's a nice little sort of storage area for pellets or something along those lines. Farmhouse at the top here. Don't recall seeing that farmhouse before. Must have been in it, but I just don't recall it. So that's the same shed that we have on our farm. Same silo, so everything is pretty much the same, except for the farmhouse. And this looks like, is it sheep, maybe? Not quite sure. Looks like a sheep pen to me. Though there's milk pails here. Could be another cow car enclosure. Beef kettle. Oh no, there's milk there, so it wouldn't be beef kettle. Yeah, it looks good. Right, so that's... Yeah. It's that little farm. Well, it's not little. Little, it's a nice big farmyard. Worth buying as you go along, I suppose, because you can get the corn drying facility. So let's follow the road back and we will track our way down to the... to the south western corner what do we have here it just looks decorative let's go down this way I think And if we go up here, I can see something up here. Oh, that's another refill station. Not quite sure what this. It doesn't say what it is. And it's um yeah I, I don't think it's a I don't think it's diesel because 
because it doesn't say fill it up, it might be methane or something or slurry or something like that. Could be slurry actually. Seeing as we've got manure here from the what looks like the we stop at the bottom. I think that is the Could be the animal dealer. Let's go around the front and have a look. We'll pull a Huey here and could just walk through the gate there, but some cattle in the front there. Yeah, it definitely looks like the animal dealer. Looks like the entrance down here. What does that say? Yeah. Larson's livestock auctions. Yeah, so definitely the animal dealer. It's quite a nice little you see bale sales. Quite a nice little thing we've been able to collect the slurry and the manure from the animal dealer at the back there. That's a nice little Feature. And this the also not can you buy the this area? Oh, that's probably part of the where we are here. Yeah, we, doesn't look like we can buy it. Looks like we can buy it. So this must be some sort of fertilizer coming out of it. Sort of liquid fertilizer or something. Not quite sure. Right. Shall we head on? That's not where we, where we want to go. We want to go back out where we came in. So we can get onto the same road. It's probably all on the same road, actually. Oh dear. There we go. I know we would have come out on that road there. A little bit further to the top there. What do we have here? That looks like the fire station. Yep. Not much we can do with that. Still heading on our way down to town. That's where the road's up there. I think. So let's just pull off here and have a just quick squiz around where we are. So we've got that grass field. Got another farmer's market there, so I think if we go down, well, let's go and have a look at the farmer's market there and then we can work our way down that, that road. So this is another farmer's market. This is Johnson's farmer's market, I think. Yeah, this is Johnson's farmer's market. Pretty standard. Well, it's not standard in terms of because it's, um, but it operates exactly the same. It's just got Johnson's written on it. It's the input area, the delivery area. 
some nice little houses going down the side yet yeah, let's just have a look and see if there's anything unusual on the signpost it's just fresh fresh produce signpost nothing new there so let's continue down this way across the train line so there's different levels on this map and that's great especially for a US map and we come to another grain mill by the looks of things yep it's another grain mill and just a basic entrance I don't think there's any train station oh, there is a train station for offloading so you can offload into the crane wall there with from on, from the train can't load onto the train but you can lo offload from the train there fuel station anything special about the fuel station Looks like there might be methane or some sort of alternative fuel there. Normal filling, filling up stations, diesel. Yep, we can refuel that, no problem. And then as we go down there, we've got Miller's Sawmill. So we've also got a train. We can summons the train here. So what, what, do you, what are we on here at the moment? We are down here. So we've got... South Farm Supply Production. So we don't own that, so that's pretty much the same as we had up at up in the north, which is what we owned, wasn't it? It was was that the same as this? North Farm su Supply Production, yeah. So this probably you may get to own this with um, if you buy the the South Farm, which is the one that we've just looked at a little while ago. What do we have here? This is buy the building South Farm for seventy nine thousand. It's probably going to produce the same product. This, I think, is the train silo. So summons the train there and I think that probably everybody can use that and if we go across here now this should bring us into the sawmill I would imagine and also the stone sand so stone and sand milling production we buy all stone and sand products so it's a delivery area for your quarry stuff and the train station so you can put it onto the train there as well by the looks of things that's quite neat train summons summoning summonsing point there Water, is it going to take water? Where do we activate this? So how much is it going to cost to buy this? 39,000. Let's get that and just see what it requires. Stone and sand, so we need. So we can get milled stone, milled sand. We need sand. 
We need water, stone, and sand. That can all be mined from from the from the quarry. Now there was a production that needed milled stone. I can't remember where it was now. It could have been for somewhere up north. But I can't remember what it was. I know we did get some old stone from the shale, um, from the refinery, once we had used the shale stone. But yeah, so that's neat. And then this must be sawmill, wood and wood chips, sell wood, yeah. And this is, oh, this is the pallet factory. So the pallet factory, what do we need to do that? That could be, there are certain productions. We haven't noticed any at the moment, but certain productions where you can have the option to add pallets and it will, um, it will reduce the production or it will increase the numbers of cycles and will reduce the cost of running the production. So it's one of those things that you have to kind of work out whether it's worth doing or not. So pallets, so we need just wood by the looks of things. Get wood chips and pallets out. So 20 trees gives 20, only gives you 20 pallets. Maybe it's 20 with packs of 10, I don't know. So just pallets producing there. But yeah, so that's something that you can do. And you can just sell wood to the pallet factory over here by the looks of things. Yeah, very nice. So that's a place to deliver your rocks and sand, stones and sand, and your trees if you're doing forestry on the map there's so much to do on this map i don't think that you can i think you it might be a bit of a job to play it trying to do everything i think you need to make a informed decision on how you want to play it whether you want to do the forestry now Where do we get into? I can see some more. I'm just going to pull off the side of the road here and quickly have a look through the bushes here. I'm not quite sure where that comes from, but it's along this road here. So we've got another collection point for, or buy point for manure. Whatever this is, it's probably slurry. And I'm going to say lime. Yeah. Doesn't tell us, but it's probably is lime. Right, where are we going next? Next we have... This looks like... This is, this is this is almost like a carbon copy or a reverse copy of what we have in the north. So this looks like a train a train depot for or well, basically anything I, I would say. Let's have a look around the front here. Yeah, so here we can summon the train. And this is also part of the transfer station. So we've got this. So this is the train line that run that is running. Let's just go back into here. So if we go back into the into the map. Right, so we are down here now. So we're down here. So we've got this 
straight tra train track running down the southern end of the map straight in one place and going to Somerset and obviously coming from Somerset right and then we've got the Silver Run train line which is the one that runs all the way up here we will look at this in a little bit more depth in part three going out there to Silver Run and that has a transfer station here so if you're on the Silver Run you can offload whatever you want at this point here and it'll place it into these silos here and then you can put it onto a train running along the, bo the bottom line as I said we'll look at that in a little bit more depth in part three but this is the transfer transfer station over here so you can just offload there and load of course if you want to move product goes up over the top and then into this building here and then you can load it onto the train going up and down there so yeah very neat very different don't recall seeing that on any other map but of course I could be wrong let's get through here now and of course these are the normal offload and loading stations down there right what else have we got down at the bottom here coming back onto the slone here so we've got it looks like a restaurant or a pizzeria down at the bottom here is the pizzeria and this is the bowling alley delivery point for the bowling alley you can play a little bit of bowls there or you can do a bit of bowling down at the bottom there and then straight across we have a dairy pretty standard dairy and that goes into oh water station let's buy that so now I think if you do buy this and you fill this up with water it will distribute to any production that needs water until it's full and that's very neat so it means you just need to keep this topped up with water i think you do need to deliver water to it yeah so you, you do need to deliver water to it and then fill that up with water it's probably going to take a lot of water to fill it up so that's pretty interesting and that'll distribute water to the to productions and greenhouses and such like that you might have right let's go and have a look and see what we have up here this looks like the supermarket yep this is the supermarket and the bakery so we did have a bakery down here. I built a new bakery at the top. I think this is the bakery. Yep, this is the bakery. Right next to the supermarket. It's probably owned by the supermarket. Nice big supermarket. And we've got a laundromat there as well. I I'm going to presume there's going to be a wardrobe there as well. This is the offloading area for the supermarket. I presume we can't get into these. Always like to check because you never know. Don't check everyone to be honest, but yeah.
put the laundry match yet. Let's just have a look and see if it's got a wardrobe anyway. No, it doesn't look like it. It's quite often there's a wardrobe trigger. The laundry mat. Doesn't look very inviting with the shutters down. Right. And I think right next door to this we have another purchasable area. Yep, so we've got another area that you can buy. Fairly flat, so you can do some productions. There's the tree that you would cut down. Yeah, it's big water tower, yeah. I think that this is probably the end of the map, yep. Big burn. American parcels. Well, Stone Water Tower. There we go. So we'll head on back up this road now. And then we'll just try and get onto that. Well, we've basically seen everything down in this area. Let's just try and get back to the farm now. And then I think we've pretty much covered, although we've got a field down, we have a field down at the bottom here somewhere. I don't think we've seen that. Where is that? Let's get back onto here. Yeah, field 37, which was down at the bottom. of that field I think it was also yeah we'll we'll take a quick drive over there as we finish off and then we'll go back to the farm I missed that out when I was looking down at um, Just driving back and I saw this little track go off to the to the right here and I was just wondering whether there was anything down here. I thought I caught a glimpse of something. Wasn't quite sure what it was. There's another quarry area. Smaller, much smaller. But at least there's a quarry area there, which is much closer to the to the stone to the stone factory or the stone buyer. Let's just go back up here. We were getting back, going back up here. Yeah, so that's interesting. Didn't clock that for a while. I didn't certainly didn't see it on the way down. It's just kind of lucky that we wanted to get to um, to go back and look at field uh, 37. Otherwise we would have missed that completely. So I wonder if we can get back across the train line somewhere here. Let's have a look and see. Is there a gap here? Let's try and go and have a look and see. So I think that that's the the other farm area there. Can we get across the train line here? Doesn't look like it. Is there a track going down the bottom here? No. 
So it's just the access to these fields by the looks of things. Would have been nice to get across there. So we'll have to go the long way round. We've of course had a nice little extensive run in the T8 while we've been doing our little trips around the farm. Right, you back with me as we passed the farm that we looked at with the corn dryer on it. And we should be able to turn down somewhere here. Or maybe we can just go straight down to field 38. Should be this one here. Yep, this is field 38. And I suspect... Our beehives are down here. Yes, they are. There we go. We found our beehives. Fantastic. So field 38 has wheat in it. And if we drive down the... I don't think we own this top field. Stella and that field. So. so we just have a quick drive down to the bottom there and go and have a look and see if there's anything going down in the bottom here. As soon as as soon as we found some beehives, just see if there's any more around. There might be some around the other fields. In fact, there might be one around every field. We just don't know that, do we? Where does that head off to? Oh, that heads off to the Netherland. It's a bit of a road up there into the hill. Then have a look at that quickly. all these little things on this map that make it very interesting. So let's have a quick look. It's a campsite. There you go, you can buy your wood. It's a place to cook. Buy some more wood. Ravine loop walk. Go for a run along here quickly. Oh, it just ends there. To the top of the field really. <laughs> Bit of wildlife. I suspect our tractor's just around the corner there. Yep. Right, well I'll catch you once we're back at the road and we'll try and get back to the farm. It's probably going to try and take a couple of shortcuts through here. Right, we're back where we turned down through Johnson's Farmer's Market and we're going to go up the road now. We're now kind of heading back towards the farm and we've got American Parcel Force and then over here we've got the we've got Cleaver Motors which is the shop area, the vehicle shop area. So we've got the shop area there but I'll presume, presume the workshop over here. Maybe not. And have a look and see. This looks like a production. 
Yeah, yeah, it's is the workshop. Yep. Didn't think it would be anything else, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's the workshop. Uh, stores are not going to open. We've looked at something similar like that at the... Yeah, nothing, nothing much more up there, I don't think. Famous last words, of course. But in case, that's the vehicle shop and not too far away from the farm, actually. And if we head on further up here now... What have we got here? This looks like another little biogas plant. Chemco. So it's saying fertilizer. This is the production point. Can't see any. So it must be a buy point for. For, I would presume, fertilizer. Herbicide, digestate, and lime by the looks of things. And there's field 18, which has now been harvested, fully harvested. We can actually get back to the farm from there, but there's a couple of little things I want to have a look at. I need to just go along. We need to go along here. What do we have here? Here we have... Textiles and embroidery. So is that a more... Can we buy that? Doesn't look like it. it looks like another buying station for cotton, wool, fabric and clothing. Can't see anywhere to buy it. And then this over here is... the restaurant yep San Giovanni restaurant and if we go back past here then we are heading back up the road to take us up to the northern area so we're going to turn back and go where is this road go to? Quick look here, down here. Oh, these are your greenhouses. We have greenhouses down here. Do we own these? Can't get in. So I presume we'd have to buy the land. Let's have a look and see. Let's have a look and see. So let's go back to the map. We are we are down here. Yeah, we can buy that for. 94,000, buy it quickly. And there we go. Everything comes up nicely. And of course, the water distribution will distribute here. Do they do anything different besides the standard tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries? Uh, require water and seeds, so pretty standard. 
pretty standard. Nothing too special about that. Found that by accident, didn't we? Is the access to water down here? Looks like it. Yep. We can come and pick up water here. So we don't need to take water down to it, but it would be quite neat. So, what's that? Three greenhouses there. What happens if we go further down here? Oh, that just goes around the bottom one. Yep. Very neat. Let's get back up this road. That gives us the excuse to turn around and head up back to the farm. Past these two little sail points. I think if we turn up here, we should be able to get back to the farm. Go past our field. And we're back at our farm. Well, there we go. That's that. Um, is where I'm going to end part two, and we've kind of checked out most of the stuff on the map. We might find a few other things in part three, but in part three, I'm going to look to um, utilize the train system a little bit. We've got a lot of stuff in stock in the in the silos, so. Yeah, we'll do that all in part two. So far, the map is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love the fact that it's got all these other little things that you can do. Um, Chris Kringle's toy shop, just fantastic. You have to make red dye. Um, the fact that you've got the... Um, pellet storage under cover at the production area. The fact that you start with such a lot of stock of of produce, so um, of basic um, basic produce to get going with, just means that with your hundred thousand, you can get quite far. You might not be able to buy. Well, you won't be able to buy what we've bought now. We've, we've pretty much spent 500,000, well, f yeah, 400,000 buying bits and pieces uh, just to check out what they are. But it, with, the, with all the starting stock that you've got, I think you can get going quite quickly. I think you can start making quite quick, making money quite quickly. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm doing a bit of a wrap up of the map just because we've covered a lot of ground. And yeah, my opinion, well worth playing. The sad thing once again is that it's coming so late in FS22's life. Let's put it that way. The slight positive fact is that it does to me actually extend the life of FS22 by some time. It means that you don't have to just jump onto FS25 if you don't want to. There's a lot to do on these new maps that we've done over the last couple of episodes. They're coming out thick and fast. Uh, they're obviously trying to get them all out before before the new before FS25 drops. So there's just plenty of maps coming out and what it's actually doing is it's actually extending the longevity of FS22. It can be played without having to go to FS25 straight away. 
I'm going to go to FS25 straight away, but I think I might still keep a series going on FS22. I don't know yet. We'll see. Any case, after that little bit of, well, what can one call it? Gushing about the map? Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.